Once you've configured Google Scholar to be linked with the UM's library, you can find full text articles or make interlibrary loan requests for articles. Watch this demonstration to learn how. Here we are on a search results page for civil rights in Montgomery. As you can see, the results are listed with the article information here. Um, you may be tempted to click on that link, but that's not what will get you full text access. You'll need to go over to the right and click on either the links that say full text at UM, or there might be a publisher site like this one from JSTOR, or um, from another organization. So we're going to click on one of these and see what happens. So I'm going to click on full text at UM. This takes me to a page in our library catalog and go over here to where it says full text finder results and click on this link and you're taken to that actual article. If you want to read it, you just go over here and say PDF full text and it brings up the article. So that is how you can access full text easily. As you can notice from these results, not every article has a full text link to the side of it. In those cases, if there's an article that we don't have, you can go over here under, underneath the article entry, click the little arrows, and then click full text. This takes you to our library catalog again under full text finder results, instead of a link to the article, you get a link to request the article through interlibrary loan. And what that means essentially is that the library um, doesn't have that article available, but we can request it from another library to email it to you. So here you would click on request through interlibrary loan. and you're taken to this screen where you can either sign in, if you already have an interlibrary loan account, or you can create an account. If you don't have one of those yet, you would go over here and say create an account, and um, you'll want to visit our library website and find the interlibrary loan link on our webpage for instructions on how to set up your account. It's fairly simple and you only have to set it up once. But if you're like me, you already have an account so you can sign in. And you can see this is um, the request form that you complete. The first part's already filled out for you. So that saves you some time. You can go down here and you need to put in a needed before date. It's recommended that you just put a date of a month from now. Don't worry, typically we can get articles emailed within, within a week, sometimes it can be a couple of days, but it's recommended to, that you use the one month just to make sure that your request doesn't um, time out before. Here, you'll, your name is entered, your email is there, you'll want to enter your mobile phone number and your status, and then click Submit Request. And that's all that that takes. So as you've seen, you can request full text articles or request articles for which full text is not available right from within Google Scholar.